Alright. Shalom, Yashadala. I want to give all praise to the Most High, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahushai, Bashim, Chakudash. Double honors to the other apostles of Great Millstone for giving us the wisdom of the teachings of the scriptures along with, with, the, along with what comes with them. And uh, Shalom to all you can say, Achia, and the few sisters that might be listening to this. Shalom. Okay, my, my, my name is Sakar. Come in once again. I'm with the Great Millstone Camp in uh, Holland, the Netherlands. And uh, now I was waking up, right? Because uh, I forgot that, uh, um, uh, you know, the, 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 the boss of the company, you know, he said, the owner of the company said uh, earlier uh, uh, yesterday that uh, today he can come one hour later. So I forgot that shit. And, uh, you know, I put my, uh, I forgot to uh, change my alarm. So when the alarm went, I uh, I took my phone and uh, I, I, I put it out. And then uh, I wanted to go on Twitter, as I mo- uh, often do in the morning to watch news and shit. But, uh, you know, I misspelled the first, uh, the, the third letter. So instead of T-W-I, I wrote T-W-A. And from this I came on to here, what you see on the screen, Trans World Airlines, you know, which is in a, a major American airline back in the days from 1930 until 2001, apparently. But I never wanted to go there. I wanted to go on Twitter. But it's all in the word. <laughs> Trans World Airlines. All right? Because when I pressed it, of course, I changed it, and then uh, I came on uh, on Twitter, and the first thing uh, that that uh, you know took my attention was this video right here. It's a video from. Uh, it's a video from uh, Project Veritas. They are uh, very busy uh, exposing these. Uh, you know these devil people that uh, these elites and uh, these these Caucasian Edomites, which I believe that the people at Project Veritas are Edomites themselves. I don't know about that. That's another thing that we might go into another day. But uh, they are uh, exposing people, man. A few uh, like a few weeks ago, they were exposing this Jake, who is apparently working at this lab, and it was all COVID-related uh, stuff. And they had him uh, exposing himself. They had him drunk. And he was talking a whole lot of uh, things that... Uh, he was spilling the beans. He was spilling the beans, basically, man. And uh, when he found out that he was a uh, video, that he was yeah, filmed, he freaked out in the restaurant they were in. And he tried to break their uh, uh, the iPad, which is the dumb fuck. He didn't know that, he, that, that they had backup. So uh, you know, it was really clear that he was uh, he was guilty, man, in all uh, on all accounts. Now this video here is about uh, groomer referent. Now this word groomer, I don't know if y'all, uh, man, get the fuck out of here, man. Uh, that word groomer. Let's see, man, because it's a it's a it's a term that's coming up a lot these days. Groomer definition. It said, see, it's a new term. So they refer to it, uh, uh, let's see, Cambridge Dictionary. Ah, I see the Merriam is also there. Let's use the Merriam. Yeah, one who grooms animals such as dogs. Uh, let's go on. Now we gotta find out what the word grooms means. Bright groom. A person responsible for the feeding, exercising, and stabling of horses. Man servant. One of several officers of the English royal household. household. Man, fellow. So 
So basically, man, a groomer is somebody that fix uh, people into some marriage. All right. Now this sick fuck, this beast right here, this 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 this. Uh, I don't know. There's a whole lot of words, but this this sick, this animal. Now it's not even an animal. It's a beast, man. It's a product of 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 evil. Revenant Tinin. It says uh, on his Twitter page, the queerly faithful pastor. He, him, his, Enneagram type 4, all kinds of fucking bullshit, beloved child of the Most High. Now what the Most High says about Edom, man, look here you got more of his pictures, you know, got the, got the fucking uh, uh, rainbow uh, uh, shawl on his neck. Now, what's the most I say about Esau, man? I bring that up a lot, man. I bring it up a lot. Let's see, let's go there again, man. You know what I'm saying? Now, they're trying to, <laughs> trying to hide it. I can easily go into the app, but I, 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 uh, I kind of like it doing it like this, man. It says Romans chapter 9 verse 13. As it is written, Jacob if I love, but Esau if I hate it. Right? But it's another one. There's another one. There's Malachi. Bear with me for one second. Uh, I'm looking it up in my Bible itself, man. So sometimes these, 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 uh, these applications that you're trying to use, they, they, you know, they're fucking around, man. Huh? I'm looking for the book of Malachi, man. Right. These apps, they be fucking around, man. So we had the one in, uh, in uh, I just read, in Romans, and now it's uh, Malachi chapter 1, verse uh, uh, 2. I have loved you, said the Most High. Yet she say, wherein hast thou loved us? Was not Esau Jacob's brother, said the heavenly father, yet I loved Jacob. And I hated Esau, and laid his mountains and his heritage waste for the dragons of the wilderness. So that's a future prophecy that's about to come and to be unleashed on these fucking animals, man. These fucking people, man. So, if you look at the video of this fuck, this, 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 this Edomite, that's a real beast. You know, Edomites are beasts themselves always, but this one is, you know, you know, there's layers to this shit. And this one is a real beast, man. Look at this fucking scumbag face, man. Look at this shit. Disgusting fucking creature. And this is your pastor. So when you, you as a Jake, you know, or even as an Edomite, a so-called Caucasian, so-called white person, go into your church, this is what you might find, man. You know, they, they, they are grooming the mutes, the young kids, man. To, to, uh, they want them in a situation where they can uh, uh, justify that this all this dysphoria shit is real. Because through their channels, their media, you know, their school system, the public school system, their, uh, the radio, the internet, all this TikTok, Twitter, Facebook, fucking Instagram shit, they... Uh, you know, they, 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 they are grooming people, man. They are grooming children, I must say. And it starts at a very young age. And at a certain age, you know, they, uh, they know that the people are going to be, the, the children are going to be running into them because the parents don't know how to deal with it anymore. And, and as a parent, you love your child. Uh, and, and uh, you know, there are certain ways that they, that they are doing this. So what happens? 
people start to bring the children into therapy and shit, and that's when they come into the hands, into the into the uh, uh, working field of people like this, man. And I read from it because I'm I'm not gonna play it. I'm gonna put the description uh, link in the description box. Shit, Satan is really fucking around, man. Okay, so he says uh, we're like this close to having parents freaking the fuck out when they, when they parent, when they parents know that their queer kid is coming to me, they're going to be upset. Parents don't want me talking, encouraging this lifestyle, and the older queer adults are, me- and I and the older queer adults are mentoring. Kids would say they are going to youth, to youth group. It's not lying, but it's not fully telling the truth. <laughs> So, there you have it, man. That that last sentence, it's not lying, but it's not fully telling the truth. All right? This is, this is, this is very, this is, <laughs> this is very uh, disturbing, man. Because, you know, it's like the scripture says, one uh, lump left on the whole bread, right? And if it's not fully the truth, it's a lie, man. Like let's say you were you you was wearing a gray outfit. I see you on the street. Everything you wear is gray. Your shoes, your pants, your hat, your your jacket. Everything is gray. And then uh, you know I meet you on the streets. And then later on I see another cousin of ours or a uh, brother of ours. And I say, yeah, I just saw so and so. I saw him on the streets. He was wearing a yellow outfit. See, it is true that I saw him. But it's not true what he was wearing. So I'm lying. You understand? I'm lying, man. Now these people, man, <laughs> they got to go, man. Look at this shit, man. It's terrible, man. And they're making pictures. And they are they are all in this, this so-called safe environment. Because this is a pastor, right? Like I said in my earlier videos, you know, they're trying to... Uh, Change the image of the heavenly father into a heavenly parent, like he's, like you know, he's he's he's, uh, he's genderless or some shit like that, man. Well, the scriptures tell you that the heavenly father is a man of war. You understand? Man, they 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 are disgusting, man. These people, man. I say at chapter three, verse nine, the show of the countenance to witness against them, and they declared the sin as Sodom. They hide it not. Woe unto their soul, for they have rewarded evil unto themselves. So the latter end of all this, because it's already happening, man. You have children that end up into the child protective service. Oh, yeah, that's also what I wanted to say, man. They, uh, that dude, that, that, that fuck, that, that sick beast called Revenant Tinin, he says in this video, he says that, uh, uh, Parents that, uh, uh, did I say it right? Yeah, parents that, uh, misgender their children or called, or don't call their child by their name that they want to be called by, they calling protective, uh, uh, child service protective services on them. Did I say it? So he admits calling child protective service on parents who misgender their children. Alright? So you as a parent who have a, a son that has been influenced by all the shit that you in the first place wasn't aware of. And that's why we in Great Millstone and you as an Israelite must be very aware of what's happening, man. What your children is looking at. I, back in the days, I had Transformers destroying each other, man. You know what I'm saying? G.I. Joe, you know, he, man, all that shit. It was all about fighting. But nowadays, these, these, these pictures, these videos, and these, these clips, and these uh, cartoons, they got a whole nother load into it, man. A whole nother direction. We'll go into that uh, in a few minutes, man. Uh, so, yeah, man, that's what he's doing, man. So, they are really coming out with it, you know. They, they, they show off their countenance to witness against them. Now, that word countenance, let's look it up in a... Uh, uh, the blue letter. Slag uh, here. Man. I really gotta go all the way. 
Because uh, that word countenance, man, it's not something, uh, countenance. And this one was from uh, Isaiah, right? Right. The show of the countenance stood witness against them. Now that word countenance, right, is a Hebrew word. Panim, you know, the face. The show of their face, right? Present person, you know? So, the show of their face, they, they, you know, they're showing it, man. They're showing it to the world, and they hide it not anymore, man. And it is a sin, man. The things they are doing, that these are sin. You know what I'm saying? Same-sex relationships. That's a sin. You know, doing all these things, I don't want to even pronounce those things, man. The things that they are planning to do or that they, that they are eager to do with children, man. These are all sin, man. And you see, they, they, they're cooking it, man. They, 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 are, they, they are, like the, like the scripture says in Micah chapter 2, verse 1. Woe to them that defies iniquity and work evil upon their beds. When the morning is light, they practice it because it is in the power of their hand. Because they got these positions. They are pastors. They are your teachers. They are your child protective services. They are your uh, 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 sports instructors. You know what I'm saying? Uh, swim teachers. Whatever the fuck, man. They are your uh, after school extra uh, 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 curriculum or extra uh, homework. Uh, 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 how do you say that? You know, when, when your child needs extra uh, uh, care because he's bad at mathematics, those type of persons, man. Woe to them that defies iniquity and work evil upon their beds. Yeah, because they work on it while, while the world is sleeping. They are in their beds, man. And when the morning is light, they practice it because they have the, po the position, because it is in the power of their hand. All right? Yeah, man. So we as Israelites, Especially we, you know, you know, all the people basically, but, you know, we in Great Millstone, we are very aware of what's going on. And you see, by the commotion that it's all bringing up, that even these, uh, these, these, these people, these Edomites, you know, Caucasians, or even Ishmaelites, or Edomites, everybody's waking up to this shit, man. Right? It says in Revelation chapter 12, verse 12. All right? Book of Revelation, chapter 12, verse 12, it reads, Therefore rejoice ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil is come down unto you, having great wrath, because he know that he had for a short time. All this shit that's coming on after each other, every day it's, it's something else, man. Because he know that, you know, the devil know that he got for a short time, because his time is up, man. Now is coming back. The, the, the one that the world is ignorantly call, calling Jesus, Jesus Christi, as we say in, in, in Great Millstone, Holland, you know what I'm saying? He's coming back, man, and he's not coming back to, 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 to talk, man, to talk with these, these people, man. He's coming back with a sword, man. He will not meet thee as a man, the scripture says, all right? So he was coming back with a sword, and he's coming back to, to strike, you know, all these people, man, and he's going to use the angels. And he's going to use the, 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 the hopefully elect of, 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 of Yasharala to do that. All right? Because this, it, this, this, this world is about to end. You know, it's not, it's not going to be any longer. If, 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 if these so-called Caucasians, these Edomites, these elites, get another 50 years, another 100 years, man, picture the world by then, man. You know, I don't want to live in a world like that, man. I don't want to live in a world like that. I don't want my children to live in a world like that. I don't want uh, my so-called family members by blood, you know. I don't want them to, to live in a world like this, man. I don't want anybody to live in a world like this because it's fucking disgusting and sick as fuck, man, you know. But it's all, it's all, it's all, it's nothing new under the sun also, man, Scripture says, man. 
And I'm, I'm coming back to that shortly. First and not, more scriptures. Rejoice, at, uh, Lamentations chapter uh, 4, verse 21. Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom, that dwellest in the land of Uz. The cup also shall pass through unto thee. Thou shalt be drunken, and shalt make thyself naked. Now when you are naked, you're showing your, your, your private parts. Right? And this is what's happening right now. They are drunken. And that's why they, de uh, they, they declare this sin as Sodom and hide it not. They are drunken. They think it's all cool to do it right now. And you see that because this guy is also, the guys from Pharaites, uh, Pharaites, they made him drunk. They are in a, in, a, in a bar someplace, you know. They are in a bar someplace. And, I'm, and again, I put the description in the, in the link because I don't want to play it in, the, in my video because they might strike it. And he says a whole lot of time, he says, because they're asking him questions, and a whole lot of time he'd be like, fuck yeah, yeah, of course, you know. And you hear it in the environment, and they did it in, the, in previous videos also, man. When you're drunk, you're spilling the beans. And that's what's happening with Esau right now, man. Thou shalt be drunken, and shalt, and shalt make thyself naked. All right? And that's, uh, you know... Uh, First Peter chapter five verse uh, eight. That's what we are doing right now, man. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walked about seeking whom, seeking whom he may devour. So that's what he's doing, man. If you're not aware of what's going on, you're not uh, telling your children. Uh, uh, not even with the with the. Uh, uh, with the emphasis on, uh, yeah, watch out for these people, because that might work vice versa. But just telling them the basic rules, man, showing them that it's normal for a man and, a, and you know, it's, it's the most highest will for a man and a woman to be together and have children. That is the most high that wants things to be done and not, not uh, some, some uh, you know, Caucasian Edomite devil in some, some, some rope. Talking and you know talking about how how it's supposed to be done. That all these cartoons that they are watching, man. That you know that is that's not that is not the way. You know, teach your children about the uh, uh, the scriptures. Teach their, their 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 mother about the scriptures, man. You know, and uh, Yahweh at the side is going to be good for you. You know, and if not, hey, it's judgment. You know, it's also judgment, man. But it, this shit is worrying, man. So that's why we be sober, we be vigilant, because the adversary devil, as a roaring lion, walked about seeking whom he made the fowl, man. You know? Now, this thing ain't nothing new, man. See, when they talk about uh, uh, the cornerstone of civilization, they always call, refer to Greece and Rome, right? And... Uh, uh, you know, uh, the second in command of Great Billstone, he got uh, on his uh, platform, his uh, YouTube platforms. I might, uh, I, I might have to go there. I'm not sure I'm gonna find it, but let's try. He got many videos speaking about pedestry. You know, in the Pedestry. No, I'm not going there, man. It's, it's going to take too long, man. Let's look up. Let's look up the word pedestry, man. Uh, I'm, I'm saying it incorrectly. Pe pederasty. Pederasty is a sexual relationship between an adult man and a boy. The term pederasty is primarily used to refer to historical practices of certain cultures, particularly ancient Greece and ancient Rome. In most countries today, such relationships are illegal. The, lo the local age of consent determines whether a person is considered legally competent to consent to sexual acts or whether such contact is sexual, start sexual abuse or statutory rape. statutory rape. An adult engaging in sexual activity with a minor may be considered abusive by medical authorities for a variety of reasons, including the age of a minor. The likelihood of the minor is developing one or more mental disorders such as post-traumatic stress disorder, physical injury, injury to the minor, and the minor's propensity for further victimization in adulthood. So basically, 
uh, because they say that a lot, a lot of these pedophiles, they've been raped as a child themselves. So this shit continues. It's a sickness that needs to be erased from the communities. All right. And in the in the kingdom of heaven that's about to be uh, established, you know, under Yahweh Shai, uh, the kingdom of heaven, uh, these shit, these things will not take place. And if Lord forbid, Heavenly Father forbid, it will take place, you as a child abuser will be erased from the community and immediately, man. Immediately. There will be no fucking judge talking about, uh, there will be no hearings, there will be no, you know, no, no recitings, no, no talking. You will be erased and you have to come back into, the, in, into life again. But this shit won't happen in the kingdom of heaven, man. I'm just giving it as an example how it's supposed to be done, you know. Now, there's a few pictures about this sick shit. Because that's what they were, they, they were about, man. And, 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 and just like I said in the scripture, they hide it not. They put it into their fucking, uh, look at this shit, in their arts. Look, man. They had it with childs. Look, the hand. They had it with child, children, kids, little boys, as, I, as, I, as, the, as the definition says, you know. And they did it with, with, with uh, they did it with, uh, with animals too, man. Look, you see that? That's what they're about, man. Look, that's what they're about, man. And they they're grooming these children, and they they're making it into a situation that a, that a kid think it's it, it's normal to do that. All right, it's really sickening, man. But that but that's their root. That's the root of their civilization, man. Pederasty. If you don't believe it, look it up for yourself. So with that, I'm gonna close it out. You know, I'll put this this, uh, this link in the description box so you can look it up for yourself. Again, Revenant Tinin, or what the fuck his name is, the queerly faithful pastor. Death and destruction upon this man. Pray to the Most High, Yahweh, Bashim, Shai. That, you know, we're going to be, be out of this bitch really soon, man. Because if this shit keeps up, I don't know, man. It's going to be... <laughs> There's going to be a whole lot of problems in this world, man. This world cannot last like this any longer. So with that, I'm going to say Shalom.